Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. I just want to welcome you all in. I don't know why I'm so animated tonight, but here we are. I don't know why a lot of things in my life, but here we are. So we are going to get started with the show right away. Um, just a couple quick announcements. Um, First and foremost, please don't get scammed. I will never reach out to you and tell you you need a reading or anything like that. The only way you can schedule with me is if you reach out to me via my website or my business number, which is on my website. Um, and my website is tonig.info, tonyg.info. And now that that's out of the way, I'll be taking callers this evening. Uh, the call in number is 845-277-9131, or if you're joining us live on YouTube, you can post a question in the YouTube chat. I try to get to as many people as I possibly can in one show. It is a one-hour show because it airs on um, WSCS, all of their streaming channels, Rude Rangers TV, all of their streaming channels, radio stations, and just about every podcast. And the time slot is an hour. I think WSCS is 30 minutes, so they watch the rest of it on a streaming channel or on YouTube. I go live every single Monday at noon central and Wednesdays at 7 p.m., Central. So if you are able to join us live, want to join us live, you can join us live then. Alrighty. Having said all of that, the first thing I'm going to do are names and then songs. The names are somebody up above that you may know. It, they may be saying your name, it may be their name, or it may be somebody name that you know. Ralph is the first name. <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> I'm giggling because I thought I was going to do more of an intro to it than that. And then, no, I wasn't because Ralph just screamed his name at me and said, let's go. Let's get this going. So Ralph is the first name. The second name is Ruth um, Beverly. We have uh, Sean, Shantika or Shantika. Shantika, some, sorry, that's the name, um, at, or I'm sorry, I can't, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that name. Juanita, that's a much easier name to pronounce. See, I can pronounce that name. Um, Lav Lavandra, L Lavandra, or V. Okay, the next name is, boy, they are really lately putting me to the challenge with names. Just saying what I'm saying. Shaquila or Shakita, I don't know. Okay, I did. these are people that are coming through, so I have no control over this. The next name is um, Michelle. The next name is Latrice. The next name is Michael. The next name is Jonathan. The next name is Roy, R-O-Y. The next name is Devontry. The next name is I'm hearing something I cannot repeat on air. So I'm trying to let that all go and get get out whomever is here. Um, and then I will, I'm going to do songs now. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to do songs now. Um, 
Yep, I'm going to do songs now. So the first song is that song by, um, well, I'm hearing the Rolling Stones, but then the next song, I it's I don't think the song is by the Rolling Stones, but it's Keep On Moving, Rolling, something like that. I think it's by Ario. I don't know. And then the next song is um, You've Lost that love and feeling oh 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 <laughs> that love and feeling and it's gone i think this is a big breakup night <laughs> keep on rolling you've lost that loving feeling what else do we have come on bring it in um the next song is um uh, okay, uh, let me get serious here for a second. The next song is, um, I'm just hearing the word juniper. Juniper, like, um, and then the next song is, um, I'm. it's that song, Iris, I-R-I-S. And then the next song is um, that Crystal Gale song, Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue. And then the next song is, um, Alan, Alan, Alanis Morissette, um, j Jagged Little Pill. And I'm going to say whoever is bringing that song through, there was a little bit of something going on with the way they could talk. It took a lot to get that song out. The next song is... Um, and I, I think it's another Alanis it is, it's another Alanis Morissette song. I don't know if it's from the same person, um, but it's that song that says, I've, and I've got one hand in my pocket and the other one is doing something. I don't know. It's like, I'm something, but I'm, I'm, I can't, I don't, uh, that's the, that's the line I'm getting. I actually do, uh, I, I am familiar with that song, but they're not letting me sing any other verse than, um, it's like, I'm drunk, but I'm happy. I'm something, but I'm something. But then she says, and uh, what are we, something, but I've got one hand in my pocket. Whomever this is for, you're going to know it. You're going to know it. And whoever's bringing me this song, I just love you to the hip hop, hippity hop, there's something in me won't stop, to the bang, bang, boogie, jump the boogie to the boogie beat. Now I am Super Mike and I came to say <laughs> Oh, I love that. There is nothing I love more than that in this moment. I love it so stinking much. Okay. Um, the next song, I'm only going to do two more songs, so get them in while you can. It's like a DJ at last call. Only two more songs, folks. Um, the next song is, um, Purple, Purple Rain by Prince. They want me to sing it and I am not going to. <laughs> no. Um, the next song is, um. Oh, there's, there's two. No, it's one song. Um, it's that really big guy who plays the ukulele. And then he, I, the song is some, somewhere over the rainbow. Um, but it's, it's not the Wizard of Oz one. It's the really, is there a, um, it's the really big guy, the Hawaiian guy that plays the ukulele, that version of it. I don't even know if there's a Somewhere Over the Rainbow in um, The Wizard of Oz. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, those are the songs. Those are the names. Now, I didn't say this pre-songs, but I'm going to say it now. Um... The songs can be a song they knew, you know, you know they loved, or it can be answering a question that you have about life or someone on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to go to um, 
questions. I'm going to take callers, 845-277-9131. I'm also going to take questions in the chat. So if you have a question in the chat, you can, or you can put your question in the chat and I will get to people as soon as I can. If I miss your question in the chat, please don't get upset with me. Or, you know, let's, let me say it this way to everybody. If I get to your question, you're welcome. If I don't get to your question, first and foremost, remember, nothing is owed to anybody. Don't get upset with me. It's not on purpose. I'm uh, doing the best I can. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to go to the first. Um, and remember, when you call in, if you want to ask a question, you have to push the one so your hand goes up in my call log. And then I know you have a question and you need an answer. And then I will take take your call. Okay, 805, 805, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony, it's Sal, how are you? I'm good, Sal, how are you? Good, good, good. First of all, I'd love to give you a compliment. You look really good tonight. Oh my I mean, you always look good, but you look great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sal, thank you. You're so, so kind. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. I love that you're being so kind to me tonight. Thank you so much. I, I had a little extra time to play with makeup. That's all it is. So, <laughs> um, cool. so Sal, how's your business and your book going? Um, book, second book is oh, just about to be published. I'm just having somebody check it out. And yes. Cover's done, everything. So I have to get that uh, formatted. Uh, business, I am um, pivoted a little bit, worked with something. We're changing a couple of things, but we're coming up with something called a funnel. I love it. Um, I love that. And I don't know. Do you understand what that is? Well, I, I, you know, we can uh, talk more about that this week. But, yeah, I know you had a specific reason for calling me. I just wanted to touch in on that. So, right, so right. what's okay, your question? Well, thank you. What's your question? So, I am um, going to take some of your advice because, you know, usually tell, I usually say when, you know, you tell somebody about a, meeting somebody, a potential to meet somebody, just don't sit on the couch. And so I'm taking your advice. I think I'm going to do one of these speed dating things. Okay. So it's in April. I got a month to like prepare. But my question is, I really need a good question when I ask these women, like, so that they can reveal themselves without hitting me. <laughs> yeah. The idea. So they can tell me like something like, I got to come up with a really good question. They'll, let, they'll remember me and they can tell me something. So you have any ideas? Okay. If I were doing speed dating and I had to, I could potentially only ask each person one question. Um, and it's different being a woman than asking a man. But if I were a man, I would ask them, how long have you been single? And that's okay. the first question that comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why that's it, because that is typically not what I would ask. Um, but that's one of the questions. What would you ask? Well, if it, if it were <laughs> me and it were a guy... Who initiated the breakups in your relationships? I don't know why I would ask oh, that. I would oh, ask that. Good. Like in that a in a one-on-one yeah. -on -one thing, cool. I would definitely ask who initiated the breakups and then um and that will that reveals a lot about a person, but that wouldn't be the first First question, if I were doing a speed dating thing, that would be a question I would ask because you have the opportunity to find out one thing. Um, and that would tell well, me. Four minutes each. I'm sorry. 
you get four minutes, like you like it's about eight minutes or like eight to ten minutes. Yeah. You get four or five minutes to ask it. Yeah. So, so from what I know, but when you ask the question and then by the time they give you the answer, it's usually like one or two questions. If somebody's the initiator of the breakups of all of their relationships, they might have commitment issues. But if they've been broken okay. up with, they might have, you know, uh, or unless, but if usually they'll say, well, I broke up because they want to justify it. They want to justify, they want to tell you why it ended. So that's a way of asking how your relationships end without asking how did your relationships end. Now, if I wanted to know something really good about the person, I would ask them, I would simply say, what's one of your happiest memories? Because people, okay. it draws okay. them into a different spot than they're used to, especially on dating and especially on speed dating. And that will tell you a lot about what makes them happy in life. So if it was something that cost a lot of money, that's going to give you one answer. If it was something uh, with family, uh, that's going to give you a different answer. If it was something that was an accomplishment, that's another answer. So it will give you an idea or help you gauge what makes them happy in life also. Great. Awesome. So you can, so good. you can, yeah, you can play with those. Also, uh, Sal, I am going to tell you, you are going to meet somebody organically or face to face. You are going to meet somebody. And I do feel like you need to do the speed dating thing, but I do feel like you're going to meet somebody quite um, organically. And I feel like you're going to meet somebody at some sort of, some sort of, um, Like, go do the speed dating still, okay, no matter what. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like there's the opportunity for you to meet somebody at a market and the person, I don't know why all of a sudden I can't talk normal words, has, uh, the, the person is very pretty. I don't know where this is, why I can't pronounce words right now. I, I apologize. Um, they're very... And they're, they're gonna, they're gonna be, they're de she's she's definitely gonna be flirting with you, Sal. So she's gonna okay. flirt with All her. Right, cool. Here's what you need to know about this particular thing: she's gonna flirt with her eyes. Okay. Her eyes. Okay. She's gonna flirt with her eyes, like that look that a woman will give, like. Okay. I know the look. <laughs> I know the look. <laughs> I definitely cool. know the look. Um, it's like the. It, never mind. You'll you'll know. You'll know. It's a very it's a very sweet way. For, <laughs> it's that come hither look. <laughs> anyway. Um, I do feel like there's going to be a couple of opportunities for you to meet people in spring. Get up, get out, and enjoy it. Make make it fun. And don't take any connection too seriously until it's time to take it seriously. Okay, Sal? Whew. Sounds good. Excellent. Thank you, Sal, so much for calling in. All right. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. My pleasure. You have an amazing rest of the night, Sal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if you'd bye. like, oh, bye-bye, Sal. Um, if you'd like to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. Please remember, if you do want to ask a question, you have to hit one so that I know you have a question to ask. I'm going to take someone. Um, um on the chat i'm gonna take uh colette hey colette welcome to the show thank you for being here uh hi tony i found my brother passed his name was curtis please is there a message for me thank you love you 
You're the best. Um, Colette, you are so welcome. Colette, I'm going to ask you, um, as soon as I started reading this, I just, I feel like there's something in my throat or something with my throat. So please tell me, do you know if this had something to do with your, with Curtis's passing? Um, he's happy that you're the one who found him first and foremost. That's really, that's really important to know. Um, he's really happy you're the one that found him. What I'm getting, if I, I hope I'm understanding or translating this correctly. <clears throat> What I'm getting is it had to be like this. It it had to be like this. Um, okay, thank you, Colette. Um, <clears throat> it had, he said it had, he's just saying it had to be like this. Um, I don't, I don't know why uh, he's making that statement. But let me see what else he has for you. Yeah, he says, yes, he's going to send you a good companion. Don't worry. It might take up to. You know, I'm, I'm going to say this, Colette. In about a month, you're going to meet someone. But if you're out and about. I'm just going to tell you the words I'm hearing, but I'm not going to give them meaning, Colette, and I don't want you to either. I don't want you to give them meaning because if I say one thing, we don't, we just want to leave it open. So if I'm hearing the word, if I'm talking about you meeting somebody in approximately a month, it doesn't mean and then I hear medical examiner and I say medical examiner, it doesn't mean the medical examiner is going to be the person that you meet. I mean, you'll probably meet that person. It doesn't mean it's your potential partner. It, I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying they may be different subjects. I feel like, okay, I'm going to skip over. Really get an, if you, if you can, if you haven't, I don't know when all of this happened, but something with the medical examiner and whatever that means for you, okay? Whatever means that means for you and this situation, he is really happy you're the one who found him. He wouldn't want anybody else finding him like that. So thank you. He is bringing good things into your life. And um, it had to be like this. It had, he just keeps repeating, it had to be like this. I don't know why. I hope that makes sense to you. And I hope you understand that. And please, whatever that medical examiner thing is, please pay attention to that. Okay, Colette, I hope I um, I hope that makes sense for you, and I hope it's really, really helpful. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller. <clears throat> and the next caller is, um, I'm just going to do it this way, 954. Nine, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Mary. I'm calling from Florida. Good to hear you again. Oh, absolutely. Um, I was wondering. Yeah, go ahead. I, I could play uh, one of the songs there you were singing, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, because uh, my mother watched that at the nursing home in her later days and was very intent on watching that particular show, and it always makes me think of her. Um, uh, I wondered if you would have any messages from Spirit, either from my mother or anyone else that has passed um, most recently. Well, let's do your mom. What's her first name, love? Alice. Alice, thank you. So um, the first thing that I'm getting is, is um, 
Okay, I'm just going to say this to you, and for whatever it's worth, you you take it the way she was a lot sicker than you knew or she knew. She was a lot sicker than, than, than anybody knew. Okay, first, that's the first message. And then the second message is something, okay, it's a, it's a, it's, it's this bluebird song, but I don't know the song. Nothing but, uh, I don't know. That's, that's blue skies. That's not bluebird. Whatever it is, there's this, it's an older song. So you might want to Google old bluebird songs that, but then she's also bluebird, like the color I blue. Get the word. I'm sorry. I didn't catch that word. Yeah. Oh, what, I'm sorry. What song? It's, I'm not sure what song it is exactly, but it's a song about bluebirds. Okay. Blue I don't. Bird? Blue birds. And whatever you don't catch while I'm talking oh, to you. Bluebird. Bluebird. I didn't know what you were saying. Yeah. Whatever you don't catch while I'm talking to you, please re-listen to it. Um, re-listen to the show and you'll pick it up. I will unmute you in a second, but just let me get through the messages because when people interrupt me, the the message stream stops and I I have to start again and I don't, I can't listen to five different people at once. So I just choose to listen to, well, right now your mom, because that's who you wanted a message from. So I'm going to listen to her. Um, she's also showing me Birds like on a window seal, a window seal, sill, window sill, whatever that's called. And that when you see birds, it doesn't have to be any particular bird. It's a confirmation she's around. And yes, I know birds are around us every single day, but she's around you every single day. And she wants you to know your situation or your circumstance with this one, some, something you've been having a little bit of difficulty with is about to get better. It's about to get lighter, like a, like a weight has been lifted from you. Okay, now I'm going to unmute you. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, I didn't. Wait, wait a minute. I don't know what buttons I'm putting. Okay, now you're unmuted. So does that make sense to you, love? Yes, it does. It really does. And I have been seeing a lot of birds and thinking a lot of birds about I, them. I love that. I love that. And don't forget, she's reminding me to tell you again, you're going to get relief from a situation soon, something that's been like gnawing at you is the term she's using. So please uh, know that yes. they up there are working on it. They've got it, they're working on it, but you have to keep doing your part, okay? Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's I understand. Perfect, I love that. Thank you so much. I'm happy you understand your messages from her. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Tony. You are. God bless you. Oh, God bless you too. And thank you so much. And you can call back anytime. I'm here every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. So anytime, love, call back. Okay, I'm going to go to Nancy R. Hey, Michael, I'm so happy that you were able to join us from the other side of the world tonight. Um, hi, Tony. Do you see me buying a house in the next year? Nancy, did you ask that on Monday? Hey, Ozzy. Hey, Mystic Raven. Um, uh, Nancy, if you could let me know if you asked that on Monday, because somebody else asked me that on Monday. I just want to make sure I'm not answering the same questions over and over again. Uh, nope. Okay. Wasn't you or somebody else? Okay, Nancy. In, I have to just look, do you see me buying a house in the next year? Within a year, it's going to be very close. Yes, I feel like you're going to buy a house. Are you looking at multi-unit places, Nancy? Um, I don't know if this is a, I, it looks like it could be a multi-unit place. 
if you're open to a multi-unit place, that will be easier for you. That might be easier for you to get a multi-unit place. And they have some programs they're running right now, Nancy, um, that are yeah, like, like only 5% down with this one program if it's a multi-unit. Um, so please, please uh, look into all the programs available. Um, I don't know if you're thinking maybe a townhouse. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That would be awesome. That would be so awesome. That would be good. Um, plus, it makes the requirement, what I'm hearing is it makes your personal requirements lower and it will make it easier for you. So if you can do that, definitely do it as long as you're comfortable with it. Um, if you want to buy a single family, you'll be able to do that. It might, you might have to lower what you are looking at in a single family for you to get that single family um, or just change the schematics a little bit. You'll still be able to get it. But with a multi unit, it will be uh, maybe a little easier for you to get. OK, that's what I have for you, Nancy. I hope that's very, very helpful. And I'm also hearing Nancy as I point at you, I'm also hearing, I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. I'm also hearing um, you have to be tight. You have to be strict, strict with your everything right now. Be very strict. Get everything down to the bare, the bare minimum so that you can, you can do this. Like, Save your extra shopping is what I'm getting. Okay, I know exactly what they mean if they're talking to me. I know exactly what that means. Okay, I'm going to go to 646. 646, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Miss Tony, it's Teresa. How are you doing? I'm good, Teresa. How are you? Not bad at all. Excellent. How can I help you, love? Yes, love. Okay, so just wanted to give you an update on what's going on. So I know I told you to talk to you last time in regards to me and the landlord having problems, and you said that it's time for me to go, which I agree. Okay, so I do, I have a, I did find a, a real estate agent. We're still working on where I want to move. However, though we did go to court, I did go to, to court on, I think it was, in January, when I went to court, um, the the judge there, I had an I had an inspection that was done in the apartment ordered by the judge on Friday. So the inspector said that he's going to issue a vacate order for me to, you know, so that way they did it, you know, in a professional way. So that way, you know, my my credit score don't get damaged, like you said. You wouldn't trust this landlord, which I don't trust him. So I guess my question is, do you see a vacate order coming through this week or by next week? Well, I, okay, so I'm going to tell you this. I, this could mean two things um, within the month. Now, within the month can mean by the end of this month or it can mean within 30 days. If it's in the end of this month, you really need to find some place that you might need to do like temporary until you find a place that you can that that is all okay for for moving in um i feel like they're going to do this you know there's a lot of red tape but i feel like they're kind of trying to push this through i feel like they're trying to expedite it for both of you i'm going to tell you just whatever you're going to do, do it with a quickness. Okay, love? Okay. Excellent. I hope that was helpful. And please keep us all posted. Okay, cool. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. So, so welcome. I'm going to go to the next call or the next question in the chat. Okay, Mystic Raven. 
I like your lipstick. What color is that? Okay, I can show you, Mystic Raven. It is, I love this, and I use it sparingly because it's by uh, Grande Lips, G-R-A-N-D. I'm going to move it to the camera a little closer. Grande Lips, and they don't make this anymore. I ordered two, one in this color and one that was gold for like New Year's Eve, and they don't make it anymore. And so I can't even order any more of it. So I only use it once in a while. You might be able to find it like on a reseller platform, but I have scoured the inner the inner web looking for this. If you find it, let me know. But it's Grande Lips, and I think the color is uh, it's a metallic. I don't know. Uh, I, can't, I can't tell, but it's like a rose gold. It's like a rosebud gold. That's what the color is. But thank you so much. Okay, that's not actually a real question. Um, um, hey, Lenny. How are you? Oh, it's Len My Rise. Elian My Rise. Okay. Should my husband stay in the position he is in? or pursue the job offering in Dover MA? Okay, what I, what I hear is this is going to a lot come down to pay and cost of living. I do feel like though, I'm going to tell you this. I feel like you guys are moving. I feel like there is a relocation, whether it's this position or the next one. And I feel like it's all going to come down. I, I'm hearing that song. Money, money, money. Ooh, money. Um, I know I can't sing. So don't feel the need to tell me. Everybody knows I can't sing. Don't be obvious. Okay. Um, I feel like it's going to come down to money. I feel like it's going to be all about what they're bringing to the table. But I do feel like there is going to be, a, it's either going to be this position or the next one. And it is going to bring in more money. And you are going to, he's going to accept one of them and there will be a location. That's what I'm getting for you. I hope that is helpful for you. I really do hope that's helpful. I am going to go to the next caller who is maybe uh, I don't know who the next caller is. I'm going to be honest. 216? 216? What's your name Hello? and where are you calling from? Hello? Um, I'm calling from Ohio. Hello, this is Sharon. <laughs> Sharon from Ohio, how can I help you today? Hello. Oh, I have a question. Um, this week, they're working on the remainder of my house, putting the, t the remainder of the tile in. Most of it's done. It'll be done tomorrow. We've had some hiccups. Oh, my goodness. I'm so stressed out, Tony. Is it going to turn out okay? It Every is. Every time I turn around, there's another hiccup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, you know, when... Remodeling is such a stressful endeavor. Um, I'm just going to tell you it is okay. It is going to turn out okay. It might not. It's beautiful. The tiles, tile, go on. It is I love it. So go on. It may not what? Um, oh, go on. Yeah, I feel like it is going to be okay. It's going to be good. I do feel like you're when you're done with this project, it's almost like you're going to be addicted to doing projects now. So <laughs> you're going to want to start another one. When, once you see the completed project and you look at it, you're like, oh, this is so good. Now we have to make this updated to match this. And I do feel like there are going to be more things you're going to want to do. Uh, take your time. It's going to be okay. You're going to love it. I do feel like it is something you're really, really gonna, gonna just, it's going to be okay. Okay. Thank you. I know I did my kitchen in December. Now it's the whole living room in the hallway. I know. Oof, oh, if you're right. It is stressful. It but is. It's going to be okay. And Charles. I'm sorry. Oh, that's the guy doing it. 
yeah, girls it's, is the guy doing it. Yeah. Gonna, it's going to be okay. You're going to like it. And then I feel like you're going to want to do something with a bathroom next, but I don't know. Whatever that is, that's, that's, uh, you're, you'll figure that out when that, that time was, comes, right? You're so funny. My second bathroom, I want to paint it pink. That's, yes, that's, uh huh. Right <laughs> yeah. after this one, that's what I want to do. My, my other extra bathroom, the yeah. shower bath. Yes, that's so fun. Yeah, right, you're, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I know. So it's cool. You know what? I think you're going to do something really unique with one of the walls. Like, I don't know if this is it, but like I was watching this video where the girl took, um, she took paint. It doesn't matter what color it was, but she put in glitter, like silver glitter or gold glitter and did one accent wall with this glitter mixed into the paint. She had them do it at the place where she bought the paint and when you look at the wall, there are just these little specks when the light hits it of like where the wall, like, you know, um, glistens. That's so funny. I did that in my bedroom. I put an accent wall in my, did the living room. They did that too. Yeah. I, yeah, I just did it. So you're so funny. <laughs> a deep, yep. I just did that. I, I Ex love it. I excellent. know. Excellent. Excellent. You know it costs money, too. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. That's excellent. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. You're going to be doing more projects. Just have fun with them and don't stress yourself out, okay, love? Thank you. You are so, so much, Tony. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. You have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. And um, we look forward to hearing from you again. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm here every Monday at um, I'm here every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at uh, 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to call into tonight's show, it's 845-277-9131. I'm going to take the next uh, question in the YouTube chat. And of course, you can join us on YouTube chat. Uh, also, thank you, Raven, so, so much. Um, Catherine. Uh, hi, Tony. Tabitha came through. She just passed and I did not get to say, get to see her. I'm sorry. Uh, Tabitha came through. She just passed. I did not get to see her. Um, heavy heart and sad. Um, Catherine, I'm uh, first and foremost, I'm so, so sorry. Uh, what I'm going to do, she's here. Um, she, she's actually, I'm, I'm going to repeat, I, you know, this, this is something that she doesn't mind that you or other people did not get to see her. It's okay. She knows what's truly in your heart and she knows truly how you feel and she understands. Uh, she, she just understands. She's just leaving it at that. Um, she really, really wants to say, um, again, you know what? It's, it's so weird. I've never heard this, uh, so many times in one night. It couldn't be stopped. It couldn't be stopped. Whatever it is, it couldn't be stopped. So, um, don't feel, um, Sometimes we feel like we shoulda, coulda, woulda, if we would have done this, if we could have done that. Um, there's, it, it was as it was supposed to be is what I'm hearing. Um, she wants you to know that she's sending, that you're going to be getting a little, a little gift. Now gifts don't always mean physical, tangible, you know, feel it, touch it, gifts. Although I am seeing a teeny tiny little gold box with a red ribbon and bow around it.
but it can be a spiritual gift. It can be a, a seeing of something or a knowing of something. When they send us gifts, it can even be just a dream where they give us information or downloads that we um, that we need. They could be upload. They could be upgrading our system, which is our consciousness. Um, so whatever this gift is that's going to come to you, it's coming from from her, whether it's physical, spiritual, or otherwise. Uh, please know that it comes to you with grace. Huh. Okay, that's the way she wants to say that, Catherine. I hope that that was really helpful for you. Hey, Joy, welcome to the show. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 203. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, uh, this is Michelle. I'm calling from Georgia. Hey, Michelle, how can I help you tonight? Well, um, I had a lot of expenses, big expenses, one after another. And at the same time, I don't have a job. So I'm wondering what the rest of this year is going to look like financially. Mm, okay. Give me a second. What is the rest of her financial year going to look like? You know, surprisingly, not surprisingly, but surprisingly, I'm not hearing anything yet, which is weird for me because usually they give me answers right away. But what I'm going to say for you, what I want you to... Is the rest of, let me, I'm just going to ask it differently. You're going to be yeah, I mean, financially. I, I'd even settle for, you know, job. Am I going to get another job? But okay. I am concerned about these weirdo expenses. Just what, I, they're dropping out of the sky. One after another. Okay. Huge expenses. So I do feel like you, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that love. I really am sorry. I'm feeling like, yes, you are going to get a job sooner than you think. And I always say to everyone, you know, when somebody, when you get offered a job, say yes. And then keep looking because you might find something on the heels. Once you have that energy of a job and money coming in, you can find something that is even better because now you're relaxed and you're comfortable and you're in a better mm -hmm. energy. I do feel like there's going to be two offers coming in and they're going to piggyback each other. Um, and I do feel like you should say yes and weigh which one is going to be best for you. All th They're using the term all things considered. I do feel like you're also going to be doing something like they think they're so funny. They're going in the meantime, in between time, um, where you are like doing it on the side, but until, okay, until there's going to be something you find that is an option for you that is um, smaller, uh, not full, maybe not full time, but you can do it here and there. And then you, um, okay, here and there. And then you um, even until, until this yes comes in from the work, but then you also get, um, you also get, um, once you're working, you can keep this and just do it when you want. I feel like it's not something you have to completely commit to. Uh, like, you have to be on the schedule, twenty, like a regular part-time schedule. You can just let them know when you want to work. And they'll say, okay, like you don't have to, they don't, okay. if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. And then I'm also hearing, okay, this is the weirdest thing, but this is twofold. I'm hearing if you can do something part-time at a golf course, that you should look into doing something part-time at a golf course. Um, I... Okay. I'm going to say that even if you don't know anything really about golf, uh, is just see if there's something you can do part-time at 
a golf course. Uh, there's a couple of different reasons for that. And I feel like that will also be very helpful. That might even be the place where you get to say, I can work here, here, and here. And they don't like push your schedule. Okay. Okay. All right. That's, that's what I have. All right. love. We'll I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I said, okay, we'll see what happens. Uh, Okay. Uh, something's got to happen eventually. It's so. gonna, you know what? It's going to happen soon, like sooner than you think. And there's nothing stopping or blocking. Um, yeah, uh, the right job is coming. I feel like the right job is coming, and it should be with you very soon. Okay, love. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tony. You are so welcome. And I even feel like. It's probably going to be during the month of March. So I hope that's helpful. And yes, your finances. I know you originally asked me about your finances. They are going to be better. It's going to be okay for a while and a little tight, but then it's going to start to get better. But but just hold on. Help is on the way is the song I'm hearing for you. Okay, love. Um, please remember, folks, in the chat um, in the YouTube chat, if I don't get to your question, chances are maybe I just didn't see it. Um, so please remember that or because as people talk, the chat goes up and it's, you know, I don't always uh, just maybe I didn't see it. I'm not going to explain myself 20 different ways. Um, I think I said at the beginning of the show, if I miss your question, please repost it. I probably just missed it. Um, so, yes. Um, uh, la, 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 la. Um, thank you, Mr. Graven, again. Catherine, I did your question. Um, Crystal, can you do a quick, quick, quick? I, I don't even know if I can pronounce the words in your little uh, question here. Reading for me, I need something from my son. I need to hear. Okay, I need to hear. I'm piecing words together, folks. I'm sorry. Um, I need to hear from my son. I miss him so much, and I feel like I'm going crazy. Can you please do it? Okay. Um, what's, your saying, what's your son's name, Crystal, and how old is he? How old is he and what's his name and how long has it been since you've heard from him? Uh, you need to hear from him. Uh, I at least need a name so I can tap in. I can see if I can get a connection. Is there sort of, Yeah, he's seemingly, he seems like he's okay. Uh, Camden. Okay. Thank you. Okay. That's why he's okay. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, you know, the way this is worded in the chat made me think he was out and about like, but then she did explain, um, he passed at the age of 12, which was four years ago. I'm so, so sorry, Crystal for that. And I understand why you would want to hear from him. Um, I'm going to tell you he's with he's with grandparents. Now, these might not be his grandparents. They may be great or great, great grandparents. He's with grandparents. And I see that there are five people around him. And I just keep hearing the statement, say it isn't so, say it isn't so, say it isn't so. That should mean something to you, Crystal. That should like say... Like almost you were in disbelief and I get goosebumps up my whole body on that. It's almost like you were, in, somebody was in disbelief or something. Say it isn't so, say it isn't so, say it isn't so. Um, I am also hearing uh, from him. Uh, Kim Din. The connection was pretty strong, and then it just faded. And there, um, 
I'm asking him to come back and give me one one more thing. Uh, just give me one one more thing other than say it isn't so and uh, whatever else I said so far. Because when I'm channeling, I don't remember. Okay, Camden. Okay, he's showing me when he was younger in his pajamas in in front of a Christmas tree, and um, he was young. He was like four or five. And he was in these pajamas. And I don't know if the pajamas had like um, big, they were, they had a print on them. The pajamas had a print on them. But I feel like the pajamas had like, um, not elastic, but they were tight maybe around the arms or the legs or something like that. I'm trying to describe details I'm not even seeing, but it's a feeling. Okay, so he's pointing to the um, to a Christmas tree and he's asking a, a, this is just a confirmation for you and talking about something about the, the gifts or under the Christmas tree. And, um, oh, He wants, okay, I get it now. Thank you, Camden. That's his best memory. That Christmas. Everything was so good. He was young. He was young. And he was just so still in the belief of everything. He was still so innocent and still in the belief of everything. Um... Okay. Um, yeah, that is his, that's his confirmation for you. Something about a Christmas. It doesn't even matter. He's just, he could have been pointing at the Christmas tree to show me like tell her Christmas, like he's pointing at the Christmas tree to let me know it was Christmas. However you celebrate it, it doesn't matter. That would be a symbol for that I would understand. And he's just letting you know he had so much it was so be so good. He still had so much innocence and so much belief. And it was like just a perfect, a perfect um, memory or time. And he wants you to know that. And he's still always with you. But when you get really um, worried or stressed, it's more difficult to connect with him or feel him. Crystal, I hope that that is very, very helpful for you. I hope that helps you to understand. Um, I don't know if I have time for anyone else. Um, uh, I don't think I do. I know any second I'm going to get the 90 second warning, which then puts me into like a freaked out stage and, um, I can't answer questions. Uh, so I'm going to say, Crystal, thank you for asking. M, 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 L, M, M, L. Uh, thank you uh, for joining us. You're joining right at the end. Uh, uh, Ivan, I still cannot get over it. His parents remain devastated. He does. Okay. ML, I'm good for you, for everybody listening, ML or M. M-E-L, uh, I'm going to do a clearing because so many people are losing people and it's so devastating. So all the grief, worry, all the grief, sadness, sorrow, pain, all the devastation, we're going to clear it now, pull it out. Um, he's in a better place. I want you to know that. Um, I'm so sorry for your loss. He's in a better place. I hear that. I hear he's in a better place. Um, and I, I, I wish I had more time to go into it. I think the most important thing I can do right now, come back on Monday, Monday uh, at noon or next Wednesday at seven and uh, be one of the first people in the chat or call and I'll be able to give, give you more um, information on that. Okay. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining me today. Thank you to everybody who likes, subscribe, everybody who has joined me here. Um, no matter how you're watching, thank you so very much.